Now then, explorers, welcome to yet another lockdown episode of Sean Explores! So in this week's episode, we're going to be getting technical and we're going to be getting up close and personal with my crashed DJI Mavic Mini. Now, if you look closely, that gimbal there isn't supposed to do that. Yep, I crashed it. It's absolutely smashed to bits. We'll show you a bit more of that later when we get inside. Um, it's got a few cracked, well, snapped propellers, which have gone. And from when I crashed this down in Lady Bower Reservoir, I did damage the battery cover. Now it's got even worse now, so it's, yeah, it's... So naturally the first thing I did when I got home after crashing this was I searched the web for an approved DJI dealer just to get an idea of a quote for how much it would cost to repair. Now, just to replace the gimbal, they wanted £180 and that included me paying to send it to them as well. That didn't include the battery cover and the propellers. So I did a bit of research online, had a little look at the prices for these things. I've managed to get a gimbal for £30 from Amazon. I'll put the link to that in the description below. Um, if you do want to get those, I do get a little bit of a kickback off, off my links. They don't cost any extra for you, to, for you to buy, but I get a little bit of kickback as commission from Amazon. Uh, I've also bought a new battery tray, which cost me £10, and a set of propellers, which cost £10 as well. So 50 quid all in. Will it work? So I've got my new gimbal here, 30 quid off Amazon, as I mentioned. Just open this up. Quite tightly packed in there. Yeah, gimbal with all the motors. What you have to do first is strip down the Mavic Mini drone, take the top off. When you get to the gimbal, you're going to have to take the camera out of your original gimbal and fit it into this new one. Also got my new cover. Again, this was cheap, about a tenner, I think. Just a new cover for the back. Tools wise, I've just got a little set of precision screwdrivers. Don't know what size I need at the moment, but this set, this set should sort me out. Got a set of snips, little set of pliers, and a couple of cutlery knives just to do a bit of prying. Now it's important to note now that you probably should use plastic prying tools for this. However, I haven't got any. I'm gonna be really careful and I'll just use my cutlery knives and see how we get on. I can't make it any worse than it is, eh? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo these four screws here. So we'll have a stab with this one first. This is just a num number zero by 150 mil long. And the, the screws that you wanna undo are here. There, both sides, and there, both sides as well. So we'll have a quick go. So that's the four screws removed from the bottom. And what we're gonna try and aim to do now is to take this top section off. As you can see, the slit goes down here and across here. So I'm gonna try and basically prise the two apart. I think I'm gonna start at this corner here. And there we go. Top of the drone is off. Quite a lot going on in there, but all we're focusing on is this bit here. Be really careful with the cable for the gimbal. You don't want to break that because that's an extra cost as well. But yeah, we'll have a little go and start dismantling. I'm just gonna fold away these legs out the way. The gimbal itself is mounted with these rubber little connections here. As you can see each side there and there. So I'm going to flick them off, try and get the gimbal itself, the whole assembly loose, and then we'll have a look at stripping this down. 
Yeah, so think, I'm gonna try and push them out. Oh yeah, that's worked brilliantly. So you just wanna push them out of there. The bottom ones have already gone. And then, come through to the bottom and, there's your gimbal. There's your gimbal out. Happy days. Right, so I jumped the gun a little bit too early there. What we've got to do is take this cross brace off here and then we need to remove this ribbon. So we'll crack on with that now. Quick go, I've took a smaller screwdriver. This is a number triple zero by 7.5. So that works perfect. So that cable's now loose, as you can see, she's loose. So what we're gonna do, we'll take this small little pair of pliers and we're gonna try and remove this ribbon from here. Dead easy. If you can see that, it's just come off really easy. Now the next part that I wanna focus on is this cable here. I'm gonna try and remove it from the bottom. These two small screws here, just to remove this cover. So that came off quite easy. Okay, so looking at this now, the cable goes into this part of the gimbal. It looks like we need to try and remove this plastic cover here. The new one doesn't actually come with it, if you can see. If you can see here, the new one doesn't actually come with it, so we're gonna have to take this off. And it looks like we're looking at, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, so that's just pinged off there quite easy. But next, we've got a couple of screws just here and here. So again, get the screwdriver. And this whole section just seems to, yeah, it just comes off like this. Okay, so one is for the camera, and then the other one goes into a little board here, so. That just pulled off there nicely. And then we're left with the camera inside. The camera cables there, which we do not want to damage, obviously. So what we're gonna try and do, we'll undo So you don't want to go for this little screw here, I think. Oh, okay, that's broken. Was not expecting that. It obviously happened in a crash. Camera. And then back just comes off like that. Okay, so what I've done here, so I've just pulled this ribbon off. From here now this is the ribbon that goes through the side here so I've managed to free up the camera now so there's my camera and you just need to try and get this out and transfer it over to the new one Okay, so there's the DJI camera, separated from the broken gimbal. So first thing I'm gonna do is put it straight in here before I damage it. Okay, so it turns out this bit here comes off from the camera, from the camera. So there's your camera lens there. That already has that piece in it, so We'll have a go at popping it in. That 
that's gone in there quite nicely. Okay, we're going to try some soap. A little bit of soap on the end of here. Oh! He's done it. He's got one in. One of them. So, soap helps. Straight in. So, if you need to replace your bands, use soap. Standard. Happy days. Made up with that. Everything seems fine. I've just got them bottom mounts to do. So I've got to say, it's not an easy job. It's definitely fiddly, but we have our new gimbal fitted. Let's peel this off the front here. There we go. We've got a gimbal fitted. Now, this may need calibrating. If it doesn't, then we've saved ourselves an absolute fortune and I definitely recommend tackling it yourself. If, you, if you're handy with your tools and you can do, you know, mess about with small microelectronics, it's not too technical. It, they're all on plugs. There's no soldering or anything. However, if it does need calibrating, then it's going to be a fail. And there we go, one drone put back together. So what we'll do, very low on the battery. I, we still don't know if this is gonna work yet. We'll put a fresher battery in here. Okay, showing fully charged. I've got my controller on. Let's see what happens when I turn it on. Oh, the gimbal. Okay, now it's stuck in that position. Okay, let's see what we get on the screen. Okay, we've got a fast flashing light on the back here. Right, okay, so the camera's working. Okay, so you can see that the camera's working oh oh it is moving about so yeah there you go you got me so it's going to need some sort of calibration because as you can see it's sort of not straight or is it no it's not straight okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to have a quick play with this and hopefully i can get around it but we'll see recenter gimbal recenter gimbal recenter gimbal Gimbal calibration. Price, yeah, here we go. So, this might work. Cam, it's on a flat surface. It says auto. Okay. Auto calibration. Calibrating gimbal. Keep stationary. Okay, so it's taking quite a lot of time. It's basically doing nothing. Um, let's have a look at what she's doing. She's just, yeah, she's not, she's not looking straight either.
Quick outfit change. No, I'm only messing. So I spent ages on this yesterday. I spent a good couple of hours changing the gimbal and then I spent about an hour doing research and then probably a few hours on the laptop trying to code it to get it to calibrate. So basically I think what the problem is with the Mavic Mini is that it's set up in the factory and calibrated with the gimbal and the coded together. So you need software essentially to be able to get in there and calibrate that otherwise the drone just won't speak to it. Now the software I had it turns out is older than the Mavic Mini so it was a few hours wasted however I still thought it was worth a try. So if you do crash your Mavic Mini and you end up breaking your gimbal then it's probably going to be best just to send it straight to a DJI approved dealer. What I'm going to do now is get in touch with one of the approved DJI repair centers, see how much they'll charge to calibrate this gimbal. Hopefully it's less than 130 quid because then I've still got a saving. So in answer to the question, can you replace your own gimbal on your DJI Mavic Mini? Yes, you can, but it won't work. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel and you came here simply to look how to repair your Mavic Mini gimbal, then why not consider checking out some of my other videos? I do UK adventures, wild camping, hiking, usually with quite a bit of drone footage thrown in as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Hopefully you learned something. I definitely learned something in making it. If you've got any questions about what I did, then just pop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And if you want to see more videos like this or my adventure videos, then why not consider hitting the subscribe button and you'll be sent notifications to your phone. Peace! Peace.